traveling up the San Pedro River into one of the most important protected areas in Central America. It's here that Marcial Cordova is hoping to save one of Guatemala's most endangered animals. Decades of illegal deforestation and poaching have killed all but a few hundred wild macaws in Guatemala. So conservationists are focusing their efforts on this strip of land. And this small field station may be the key to protecting the macaw's last remaining stronghold. From here, Marcial and other staff from the Wildlife Conservation Society monitor macaw nests and habitat and look after chicks. We removed this fledgling from his nest because it was ill. We brought it to the hospital and started feeding it and giving it medicine. If we left it in his nest, it definitely would have died. Last year, the team reintroduced 15 macaws into the wild. The chicks were removed from their nests and brought to the field hospital. After a few months, staff moved them back into their natural homes to be adopted by adult macaws. But this year, they're trying something new. They're moving 10 young birds into this newly built flight cage. Gaining the confidence to fly takes time. Here, they're safe from poachers and have the space to spread their wings. But they won't be here for too long. In just a couple of weeks, the guys here are going to open up these doors behind me, letting the macaws fly out. And this is the moment that everybody here has been waiting for, to see what happens when the macaws are given the chance to rejoin their brothers and sisters out there in the jungle. And there are some signs the transition will be successful. Adult macaws have been attracted by the fledging squawks, and this makes us really happy because we think the adults will teach them what fruits to eat, what trees to hang out in, and other things the young ones need to know. Through the innovative use of simple technologies and the dedication and care of conservationists, these young macaws are getting a second chance. And with it comes the hope that these beautiful birds will continue to be seen in the jungle here for many years to come. David Mercer, Al Jazeera, El Peru, Guatemala.